In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this effect here. I've seen this effect, this effect in one of the posters and it's becoming a trend nowadays to have a drop shadow like this, like a hard drop shadow with uh, stripes. So if you, if you analyze this one here, so I'm just going to click on the text and move it over here. So it looks like that there is a uh, the shadow uh, there's like lines or stripes inside the the actual shadow I'm just gonna undo that and before I continue the tutorial I'm going to discuss about the outlines so if I click on my rectangular tool I'm going to make a, a, an object and uh, I'm zoom in here and then I'm going to uh, thicken the outline say 2.5 so I'll just make it obvious like that like a thick outline and if I go to view and click on wireframe notice that the outline disappeared right so I click on view and click on enhance the outline is there so which means to say the outline here it's not a vector image it's not an object yet so what I'll do, I'll click on plus sign my keyboard, which is duplicate without offset and move it over to the right side. Now we're going to compare both uh, rectangle here. So the first one, we'll just keep it as an outline, like an ordinary outline. But in here, we'll make this outline as an object. And I'll explain later why we need to make it as an object. So click on the, uh, the object and then if I click on arrange and I go convert outline to object so let's see what happens when I click on convert outline to object so when you click outline an object what happened here is the outline this black outline became a vector image now if you click on view and click on wireframe here now this is the I'll zoom in here uh, this one here and this one is the outline and this center of the outline is actually the red box is the red box so if i'm going to click on it and move it over here you notice that that's the red box so now if i click on view and then the wireframe again so this one doesn't have the object but it really looks exactly the same here so that's uh, now my you would ask why I explain that because when we create this drop shadow here of this effect here we have to make the outline an object first before we can do the um, the uh, the fill so if I'm going to create let's say I'm going to create I'm just gonna make it green and I'm going to put this behind so shift page down to put it to back of the page I'm going to get plus sign the keyboard and bring it like this now if you notice if I click on my smart fill tool and then I'm going to click on this one because let's say my objective is only this area here if I click on that and compared to this one I click on this one now you'd notice that the the smart fill wasn't really accurate in here because the object, I mean the outline, wasn't converted to object. So this is what we want here. We want to, to change the outline to objects in order to make this effect here. Okay, So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to start the, the actual tutorial here. So big ideas. I'm going to start by typing in the text so big for big and I'm just going to choose a font I'll I'll make it uh, make the font as close as the original one so let's make it Georgia and uh, I'll just make it bold like that okay. now I'm going to put an outline, so I'm going to put, make that red 
Okay, since this one here is an outline, like white outline, what I'll do instead of white outline, I'll make it black outline. So right mouse click here and then go to my outline tool. So that's outline tool, outline pen. And I'm going to make this, uh, let's say five. And this one's important. We have to click on behind fill and scale with object. I, all, I usually click on these two here so that the outline won't go into the text, it would go outside of the text. And the scale with objects is that so that when I when I shrink this down, the text, the the outline will be proportioned to to the size of the text. So I'll click OK here and there you go. Yeah. So I'll just skip the black first. Now, now what I'll do here, I will I will same as the rectangle that we did. So I'm going to go to arrange and I'll click on convert outlines to objects. Okay. So now I have the outlines to objects here already. So if I go to my view and wireframe, you notice that these are outlines already. So go back to view and click on enhance view. So we're going to draw uh, we're going to make a, a hard drop shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on plus sign in the keyboard that makes a duplicate and I'm going to move it down like that okay I'm going to undo first because what happened is I picked the red one and not the outline so I click on undo and I'm going to click this one here I'll make sure that it's the black one and you notice here in the lower right corner I'm choosing the black so plus sign again to the keyboard in the keyboard to make a duplicate and we're going to bring it down like this so i'm just going to bring it like that and uh, maybe some more okay so i'm good now in here uh, before doing anything else what i'll do is i'm going to copy this first the uh, the first and the word that I put in the big so control C and I'm going to delete okay, I'm gonna do that again control C and then delete and now I already deleted that and uh, let's go back here I actually have to click on that and click on the outline too okay and if I move that that that's the one I want to copy so make sure you you don't only click on the red which is a text you also have to click on the the outline which is the uh, outline that became object already so I click on that and now you'll see underneath here two select or two objects selected on layer one that means say I chose the outline which became object and the red text so I click on control C and I'm going to delete now this one I don't actually need the white one here so what I'll do here is I click on this and I go to arrange and then break curve apart okay. so when I click on break curve apart and I go to view and wireframe so I only actually need uh, the, uh, the outline so I'm going to delete this inside part uh, this one here this one and this one and this one and then I'm going to select this this one and I will click on combine because if I don't combine here if you click on view enhance uh, the letter B uh, the holes here will not show up so I click on combine like that now now remember we click on the uh, uh, the red text and the outline just a few minutes ago and it's in the clipboard already so what we're going to do is we're going to paste it so I click on paste or control V and we already have this this, this uh, the original word right so now I'm going to go to my smart field tool and I'll just choose any color here let's say green here it's just for for you know for making it different from the black 
and I'm going to go into this part of the object here so that will be green 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 so that one would be our drop shadow a hard drop shadow there and this oops control Z and this one here now oops we forgot one more which is this one here okay so now what I'll do here I'm going to get all the greens um, so click here hold down shift and click click this one this one this one this this one this one and this this one and then what I'll do I'm going to combine them so I click on combine here so that when I move it like that it would all be combined so now I'm going to put it in my clipboard again so control C to go to the clipboard so it's already clipboard and I'm going to delete this sorry I'm going to delete the green one so control C and I'm going to delete now I don't need this black uh, drop shadow anymore so I can delete that and then this one here uh, if you look at the original here it's white so I'll make that white okay. but if you go to view wireframe see the outline will be white now I'm going to paste the you no know, the green drop shadow that I copied in the clipboard. So control V and that will be paste. And with this one, we can actually create the lines now. So for the lines, I'm just going to move this over here. So for the lines actually it's just like a rectangle like this. And then I'll make this, um, I'll make that red and then I'll remove the outline. And what I'll do, I'm going to rotate it like that. And I'll start from there. And then I'm going to zoom in here. So what I'll do here, I'm going to make the stripes, right? So I'm going to make two stripes, so plus sign my keyboard. To duplicate and I have these two stripes so what I'll do now I'm going to blend this one and then after blending I'm going to power clip it into the the green so click this one and then hold down shift and click the the other one and I go to effects and I click on blend so when you click on blend you're going to have steps here so I, let's say I'm going to go for 20 steps and then I click apply and you notice that the stripes is there already but looking at the proportion I don't think 20 will work so I'll make it 50 hit enter and not quite so I'll make it one let's say 150 hit enter okay 150 is is fine because if we look at this one here okay so now when I click on the uh, on the uh, the blended object with the stripes I'm going to put this behind all the fill or all the objects so I click on arrange order to back of page or to back of layer or shift page down now I have it there now the only thing I have to do is I already selecting I selected the the uh, stripes I go to effects and click on power clip and then place inside the container so when I click on place inside the container Corelda will be showing an arrow okay so which container so I'm going to click on the green container here and there it's inside now now since it's already inside, I'm just gonna close this one here. Now let's analyze this one. Uh, it has an outline, so I'm gonna remove the outline. So right mouse click here, and it removes the outline. 
and then I don't want the green anymore and if you look down here uh, the shape is green so I'll make that white and there you go so you have this effect now the original actually have a different stripes it's like farther apart but you can adjust that with the blend that's it